Thousands of houses across Northeast Ohio share an unwanted connection. They're on a public list which labels them a former meth lab. 3 News investigative reporter Peter Fleischer discovered one sheriff's office database listing more than a thousand locations where meth labs have been shut down. Peter looks at the impact being on that list can have on the neighborhoods and homeowners that remain long after the labs are gone. There are signs of happy families throughout this Summit County neighborhood. Comfy porches and flowers in front yards. Another block alerts drivers to children in the area, and this one promotes a neighborhood watch. But they all share one thing in common. Tucked among the quiet streets are houses labeled former meth labs by the Summit County Sheriff's Office. More than 1,200 in all, with bus dating back to 2001 until as recently as 2020. Pretty quiet and peaceful, actually. I was really kind of surprised. Ted Atkins says he's lived on Beulah Avenue in Akron for years now and had no clue he's across the street from a home publicly declared a former meth lab. The label surprises him because law enforcement doesn't seem to give the property special attention. You see him come through once in a while. I think there's something going on like when you turn left on there. But other than that, no. It could have been done anywhere and in homes, rental properties. Sergeant Bob DeSabado is a 33-year veteran of the Summit County Sheriff's Office and is head of their drug unit. DeSabado still remembers when the list was originally created. They wanted to develop that uh, in order to put it out there and let people know. If you're purchasing property, you might want to check the registry to make sure uh, that home is not on that. But therein lies the problem. Most of these homes aren't owned by the same people. Some have been bought and sold multiple times, according to property records, since a meth lab was busted inside their walls. So what about the people who haven't committed crimes, whose address is still listed on a public agency's website as a former meth lab? 3 News visited more than half a dozen homes on the list. While no one felt comfortable going on camera, many had an opinion. One woman lamented that her parents, who were never involved in any crimes, had to deal with the meth lab stigma that hangs over their address. Another young man admitted his father had been arrested at the home for cooking meth, but he no longer lives there, and his mistakes hang over the family that still does. DeSabado admits it's an unintended consequence of the database now. I do the best I can with what I have, and I have always uh, attempted to treat everyone as they treat me, the way I was raised. But that doesn't help the 1,219 homes that remain on Summit County's website, much less the larger neighborhoods they occupy. Adkins compared the database to showing off a hunting trophy. It's kind of like having de a deer on the wall or something. That's pretty much all it is. DeSabado points to Senate Bill 113, Ohio legislation requiring remediation after a meth lab is busted and a disclosure of the bust when property is transferred between owners. The bill has no mention of displaying addresses publicly, but does note the Board of Health must determine when a remediation project has been completed. DeSabado says clearing every house in their database would be far too expensive and time consuming. It would maybe have to be case by case because some of the labs were very small labs, some of the labs were very uh, large. We're all human beings. We all have a tough job to do. I also asked DeSabado why the meth labs database hasn't been updated in more than four years. He says the sheriff's office has shifted its enforcement practices because meth on the streets is no longer manufactured locally, but instead shipped up from south of the U.S. border. Law enforcement also warns that fentanyl can be laced into any drug.